We were just talking about the last time that we saw each other was the movie for Twisties, the <laughs> the Angels movie where Molly Stewart dies because she has she fucks herself with a cucumber and she's <laughs> allergic to the cucumber. I don't know if you got that that I, part of the story because you weren't in that scene. Yeah, I don't get the, I don't get the username and passcode to the to the site. But basically, yeah, the story was was Molly Stewart fucks herself with a cucumber, has a fatal cucumber allergy that she's unaware of and then she dies and she shows up in heaven and she discovers um <laughs> abigail max scarlet sage jane wild kiara kiara noir and um um annie aurora <laughs> nice. um and then we mess up her wings <laughs> and then yes and then we and mess then up we have sex <laughs> and then we have sex i gotta say that movie in itself was very tricky to shoot because of the angel wings that made the scenes like really hard to do because they just blocked yeah. the lights the camera like everything i think honestly your scene with jane wilde was probably one of the more successful scenes in terms of we had to like stop the least like you guys flowed through that pretty yeah. pretty well I think where it could have gone wrong is the scissoring with the wings because it wouldn't show anything. So I think that the way that we were, it just. I find that you often don't see anything with scissoring. And I've actually stopped trying to force seeing the vagina bumping and scissoring. Yeah. Because for me, I'm pretty sure that it's all about like the movement. It's like Mm -hmm. the closest thing to like a boy girl movement you know what i mean because girl girl is generally one girl's eating the other girl out so there's not necessarily a lot of like you're able to open up for the camera movement um i do i think that scissoring has a bad name for itself i think people judge it i love scissoring people judge you're you know you're right and i know this sounds funny to people but like scissoring is like a hot topic in the adult industry and most girls hate doing it and twisties would require like require that I shot scissoring in every scene because it sells really well in ads. Yeah, I actually personally like it. You are you are a minor- of the minority. I'm going to tell you right now. It's a certain way you have to do it. Mm-hmm. You have to hit that sweet spot. Mm-hmm. And I think I figured out that sweet spot. And because we don't have to show a lot, I think sometimes they come from an angle of looking down. But if you're not trying to get the angle, it feels so good. And the movement, if you have a scene partner that knows how to move with you, Mm -hmm. it's an incredible position. I can actually come from it. Really? Yeah. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Because that's like the porno myth that one, because there's always that, you know, simultaneous coming and scissoring in porn, which like we all know is not (laughs) real. But you can actually come from it. That's amazing. You hit that bone, the top bone. Uh Uh-huh. And so you lift your clit up kind of, Mm -hmm. and then you make sure you have a lot of lube or spit. Mm -hmm. And when you do that and you have a scene partner that's able to get into sync with you, Mm -hmm. it's an incredible experience. I've had bumps along the road, actual bumps, because, you know, when you don't scissor correctly, it bumps Mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, aside from that, I've had really good scissoring experiences. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. You know what else I love about you, too, is that. You're such a sweet girl and you come across very, in, like in person, very innocent and kind of demure. I feel like the first time I shot you in a girl girl is kind of like, mm, I don't know, like what the scene's going to be like. Cause you're just like, you're just, you're just so lovely. And yeah. Like- you're new. I'm new too. So I think when a girl is new, it's hard before you've mm-hmm. never seen her have sex. Yeah. It's hard to find scenes online. Mm-hmm. And so you don't know what you're going to get when you, so you're yeah. going based on the first impression, you know, yeah. the opening of the book. So then you have to kind of like read the pages and I'm an erotic novel when you open the book. I, I know, honestly <laughs> will say like when we, when you get in front of the camera, you are like, a different person. I swear. You are like a wild woman. Like you're a great <laughs> performer, like really great. And I think it, I, people find it surprising if they don't know you. Yeah. I don't know what it is. And I honestly, it clicks. Mm-hmm. I, you are spot on with the whole different person because when I am turned on, I don't, I don't want to say it's a sexual demon. I just want to say it's something, I, I just get intense. I get passionate. I, I like to stare into the soul 
of my partner. And sometimes that can be intimidating Mm -hmm. for some partners, but sometimes when they're right there with you, it's an incredible scene.